Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, the 12th, or thereabouts. This would be the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, but you know, the timing is fluid. We still get a lot of people don't get that, but you know, it is what it is. So we're just going to see what comes up, and I honestly don't care what anybody thinks, okay? I'm going to tell you what I see. I don't care if it uh, hurts your feelings. If you get triggered, there's a reason for that. My readings are not sugar-coated. And I do not do them with the thought in mind that I need to spare your feelings. Somebody was upset that I mentioned the loss of a child. The loss of a child is real. It's a fact. It is reality. I know that for a fact. So if I see that in the cards, I am not going to hide it. That would not be authentic. And that is what this Saturn-Pluto conjunction is all about. It's about authenticity. It's about reality. It's not about being fake. It's not about hiding the truth. It's not about living in fantasy land. It's about coming to terms with reality. And if you can't come to terms with reality, <laughs> then you better click off right now. Because I am not going to be sparing anybody's feelings during my readings now or in the future. We're going to start right here. The Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about children. It's about your childhood. It's about your children. It's about your family. It's about reminiscing. It's about the past. It's about innocence. It's the return to innocence. It's about remembering what love is. Did you hear what I said? It's about remembering what love is. What is love? Tell me what love is. Put it in the comments. What is love? Temperance reversed. The temperance is re reversed is somebody that is engaging in negative patterns. There, something is off. Somebody needs to re-examine. Um, there could be an illness here. Somebody is uh, going overboard. This is excess. You know, somebody is doing too much. They're ha they're having a hard time, or they're going to have a hard time because they're overdoing it. Now, this could be an overdose. <gasps> oh my God! Don't say that, Jennifer. Yeah, tough shit. That's reality. This could be an overdose. This is somebody that goes overboard. This is extremes. Inappropriate behavior. Inappropriate behavior that causes somebody, cause, could cause an accident, causes imbalance. Imbalance. 
something isn't right, something is off, and somebody hasn't been learning their lessons. Five of Swords. Look at this. This person is being chased by demons, chased by ghosts. We have somebody here that um, is trying to get away. They're trying to get away with something, right? This person is trying to get away with something. Interesting. But they can't get away. They can't get away from it because something is lurking and they're catching up. They're about to get caught. Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Now this right here, the Seven of Cups, is... Oh, again, we this is somebody who is unsure of what they want to do. A uh, state of contemplation, maybe a little bit confused, lazy, complacent by the looks of things. This person uh, is really discontent, not knowing what the what's what they're gonna do next. We have somebody here that definitely is going overboard. They probably do not want to accept any responsibility. Fantasy land is the best place to be at this time. So I feel like we do have somebody here that is having a hard time accepting reality, but they're about to get a reality check. The Knave of Pentacles would be a reality check. This is an opportunity to go down a new path. But we have somebody here that is trying to escape responsibility by the looks of things. Or they have been escape, escaping responsibility. Definitely overdoing it. Uh, burying their emotions, I believe. You know, burying their emotions in addictions. You know, overdoing it. Somebody is definitely overdoing it. They are self-medicating. Yes, and that's what they're doing. Um... These are demons. They really are. They're feeding their demons. But the page of uh, pentacles is a new opportunity. There is an opportunity if you can focus and follow through. But this person is running away from the opportunity for success. So that's what we got here. Somebody is running away from an opportunity for success. Okay? Because this is an opportunity to go down a new path. Okay? And build something solid. But you have to start from the beginning. You have to start over. This is a new endeavor. A new enterprise where you start. You start at the bottom. Okay? You have to be willing to learn. And you have to be willing to follow through. We have somebody that's running away from it. No! I don't want to. I don't want to. I'd rather drink and do drugs or live in fantasy land and just sit back and relax. We have somebody here that doesn't want responsibility. Okay? They don't really want the responsibility. They're making poor decisions. They're living in a state of, you know, confusion. Or illusion. There's fantasy land here. It's funny that I, how I, however I started reading out is prominent to the reading. It's just part of the spirit speaking. Okay. So there's definitely emotions here that are being, um, somebody is burying their emotions by the looks of things this person is a dreamer by the looks of things they they have a lot of dreams they're they're a dreamer okay this person is uh well that you could you know very much about you know is it is a dreamer you know what a dreamer is i don't need to explain it naive very sensitive Strength. Strength is a card of, of confidence and courage and willpower and discipline. Somebody needs to find their discipline. To face their demons and stop running from their demons. They need to find the strength to let go of these addictions. That's what this is about. Whether it's addictions or... 
uh, a lot of it is addictions. There's some sort of addiction that is being fed that needs to go. And it's going to take willpower. And it's going to take mastering your emotions. You're going to need to restrain yourself. But this is also a card of enjoying power. And this is power as well. The Five of Swords is the card of power. So somebody has been enjoying the power that they, or the rush perhaps, or the ability to, you know, feel the way that they are feeling. They've been enjoying that. King of Swords reversed. The, but this is some sort of abuse. The King of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that is cold and uncaring. <laughs> Abusive. Somebody is abusing. They're abusing. I think they're abusing. Well, this is abuse of power. Okay, and this is a control. So there's an abuse of power, abuse of control. Somebody, it's almost like somebody is abusing themselves and they're holding on to something. The page of pentacles is holding on to something, but they're not moving forward. I feel like there's a period of stagnation here. We need somebody that to find their determination to open up, let go of control, let go of power, find their strength to let go of their, because this is a card of ego and this is, there's ego in the way or addictions or pride or something because this is pride. There's some sort of addictions and ego and pride and emotions. There's somebody's feeding their ego. They're feeding their pride. They're feeding their emotions with addictions. There's also a, there's some sort of fantasy here. Somebody needs to come out of fantasy land. Wake up, please. Please find the strength to let go of whatever doesn't serve you, whatever is keeping you stuck. De the temperance reverse is somebody that is refusing to move on, refusing to learn their lessons. Okay, before the temperance card is the death card. You know, it's like you're holding on to a dead end and you need to let it go. It's, it's a time of evolving. It's a time of change. Accept. Accept the change that is needed. Oh my God here. This is some sort of abuse. There could be some mental abuse here. We could have somebody that has some mental health issues even with the King of Swords reversed. Keep getting them by twos. Hangman reversed. And there is some mental health wish issues in the Queen of Swords reversed. Um, the Hangman reverse is uh, refusing to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with control. Son of a gun. We have, And this is a couple. Now we have a couple that is obsessed with control. Because we have the Queen and the King of the same suit to the same court, whatever. We have a couple that is obsessed with control and they're refusing to accept change. Now, this could be somebody, it's just, it's really sick. I just feel like this is some sort of sick, some sick people, sick individuals, very egotistical. We have some egotistical people here that are really struggling. They're struggling to uh, accept a change. But that temperance reverse, that's no reunion. That's that's not, you know, there's not going to be a reunion. There's not going to be a reconciliation. Somebody isn't making the right choices. They're overdoing it. They're, they're, they're trying to do too much. Because they want control. That there's a lot of ego in control here. We and, and this could be like a, a stepmother, the Queen of Wands, re, the Queen of Swords reverse. This could be a stepmother or an ex, um, and her boyfriend or her husband. You know, a stepmother and a stepfather, or a mother and a father, or somebody. This is definitely a couple that are very cold. They're both cold. They're both don't care. They're both very much about control with the swords. The swords are about power. Um, they're not telling the truth. They're dishonest people. They lack integrity. Um, they're both abusive. They may both have mental health issues. They could both be narcissists. I mean, two narcissists team up together. It's 
a terrible situation okay so we may have a couple of narcissists or people that um, demand power and control that are very uncaring and cold that have teamed up they may have teamed up to hold on to something that you know they need to let go of but um, the temperance reversed is something that definitely a power struggle here we have there's, there's something to that somebody is struggling to accept change this is an illusion. The world reversed. No success. Lack of success. Not learning a lesson. Oh my God. There's unfinished business here. We have somebody here that is refusing to learn. Refusing to accept. Refusing to let a cycle end. The cycle needs to come to an end. It's meant to end. But we have people, two people, there's definitely two people here that are resisting with the hangman. They're resisting change. Uh, it feels to me like they it may have something to do with a child. Could be parents and a child. Doesn't have to be. Something to do with children because of this six of cups. Could be two children. There could be two children. We have two pages here. Could have something to do with two children. There is some there is some sort of abuse. There could be mental abuse or neglect or something like that from a mother and a father. I'm sorry, I know people don't want to hear this because you know they'd like to live in fantasy land. Well, fantasy land only exists in, in Disney. Okay. So there is a lack of success. Somebody is not completing a cycle successfully. They're not learning their lesson. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is very discontent and sad. L missed something. Somebody has uh, lost an opportunity or they've missed something. Something has been missed. They've been they've been overworked or overwhelmed and they've missed something. But I feel like there's going to be some sort of enlightenment that comes. Or it has come. Maybe it came with the full moon. There is some sort of information or clarity that is coming that was missed. That's what I'm getting from this card. We have somebody here that um, has been sad over something. Or they just didn't see something. They didn't realize something. But I think that something is going to be shown. Or they're going to see something. Ten of Wands reversed. Now this is freedom. Uh, breaking free from a situation. Somebody's about to escape. They're about to escape a situation. I think that it's like they're going to be shown the way. That's what I see too. Somebody is going to be shown the way or they're going to be guided to a new place. The Ten of Wands reverse. This is balance awaits. Dropping something. making a conscious change there's going to be a change there is going to be a change somebody is about to crawl out of the hole that they have been in and i feel like there's there's it's like before they couldn't see the light and all of a sudden there's the light there's the light it's like you see the light and i'm going that way i'm out of here i'm out of here it's like they're going to a safer place after being in a dreadful situation that was weighing them down. And maybe it has to do with parents or abusive partner or something like that. But that temperance reversed being the first card, there's going to be some, probably some upheaval. Okay, with the temperance reversed. Uh... Somebody could definitely fall down. I can see I, there's in a few of these cards. Somebody could fall down. They could collapse even. 
or there could be some sort of overdose or they overdo it. Okay, they overdo it. There could be some health issues where somebody overdoes it or overdoes it and they collapse. And this is a wake up call. Okay, it's a wake up call. There is a new doorway that is opening with that page of pentacles. There definitely is. That's a new enterprise. It's a new opportunity. If you put in effort, you can start over and you can have success. But the only way that you're going to have success is if you don't lose focus and you focus on the future and not the past and you keep on moving. You have to keep trucking and you got to start over and you got to be willing to learn new things. We have somebody here that has been trying to escape responsibility and bury their feelings and bury their emotions and bury their troubles and live in fantasy land and do drugs and drink and eat and alcohol and feed their addictions and whatever. And that's not getting them anywhere. So there could be a health scare even. There is something that is going to happen that it, it that is going to change. Okay, it's going to cause somebody, it's going to basically force somebody out into the light. Okay, it's going to force them out of this hole that they have dug themselves into you can choose to stay there or you can choose to come out the choice will definitely be yours because free will plays a part but this is an opportunity to you know somebody maybe maybe thinking about their past and you know they're they're hung up on the past they're hung up on what love is you know what love was and the love that they had and they're down and they've been staying down because they lost that love well there's more love to be had and that's why the four of cups is here you may re you may be focusing on a something that's already lost not realizing that there's something else there's so, there's love there's more love to be had stop focusing on the past Anyhow, I don't know whose part that is for. Anyhow, we have somebody here that has been resisting change. And I think that they're basically going to be forced to change because something is going to happen. Okay? There is something that is going to happen. And it's not about feelings at this point. When the decision is made, uh, whoever, if the universe is helping you make this decision, it's not going to be considering your feelings. Just like I started this reading out with the Queen of Swords reverse and the King of Swords reverse, this isn't going to be about how you feel. It's about what is needed to be successful. So be prepared to probably cry because your feelings will probably get hurt. Good luck.